trauma event that stopped his heart. The key to survival, he says, is getting CPR started ASAP. Timing is essential. To, to shield him from TV cameras. As the ambulance left the stadium, the Bills players formed a circle, knelt, and prayed. The game was suspended. That's the ambulance carrying Hamlin, arriving at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center last Hello everyone, this is Kendra Dix for your, for Vow. We're, we're coming back with Vow, but we're talking about prayers for DeMar Hamilton. So, I mean, this is um, a story that came out of nowhere when Monday Night Football was airing. DeMar Hamilton playing like routine play and stuff, and his he had took a um, hit on his side chest and caused him to have a cardiac arrest, but we'll talk about that. Join in the conversation using the hashtag Bauer Hill Connect. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, Miss Karen. Tell a friend, call a friend, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a thing. And we talk about Mar Hamlet, um, what um, emotional outpouring love for Mar Hamlet. Um, he, like I said, he was doing a routine play, and all of a sudden, he went into cardiac arrest. Um, Mar Hamlet, um, from the Buffalo Bills. He plays for the Buffalo Bills and um, a lot of his teammates will gather around huddle. Let's get the latest on what's going on with DeMar Hamlin. This. We're learning more today about what happened to DeMar Hamlin. His heart stopped when he tackled a Cincinnati Bengals receiver at Monday night's NFL game. Hamlin, the Buffalo Bills safety, was hit right in the chest. He got up wobbled for a second, then collapsed. The entire stadium and millions at home watched in horror as team medics tried to resuscitate him. ER physician Dr. Michael Donat, he says Hamlin likely suffered commotio cordis, a rare blunt force trauma event that stopped his heart. The key to survival, he says, is getting CPR started ASAP. Timing is essential to start the CPR and deliver those shocks. If you can do that within a matter of minutes, it greatly increases the chance of survival. When the incident happened, we saw the look of shock on the faces of the NFL players around him. We didn't see what was going on. What were the players seeing? I think they were seeing how dramatic, high-quality CPR is. I mean, it's not like you see when you watch a TV show. And we do CPR in the ER. It's a very traumatic event. Um, you have to really compress that chest in order to squeeze that heart. Buffalo Bills radio announcer Eric Wood was in the stadium. There's so much energy in the building and then with one moment on the field complete silence in the building like nothing i've ever heard and the severity of the injury was apparent fairly quick as the medics worked on hamlin his teammates gathered around to shield him from tv cameras as the ambulance left the stadium the bills players formed a circle knelt and prayed the game was suspended that's the ambulance carrying hamlin arriving at the university of cincinnati medical center last night we caught up with his friend and family spokesperson jordan rooney at the hospital this morning he's fighting um just you know continuing to work to get better hamlin is listed in critical condition today he remains sedated but his vitals are normal the outpouring of love and support for the 24 year old has been extraordinary hamlin's charity a toy drive in his hometown pittsburgh exploded overnight from three thousand dollars in donations to more than four million dollars today the nation is united in hope and prayers Yes, DeMar Hamlin um, took a routine play and um, went to cardiac arrest. I mean, people didn't think he was, he didn't look too good out there. But with the help of God and our parents love and support, DeMar Hamlin now, we can officially say, is healing. He's getting better. He was in ICU, and now he is getting better. And um, that's good. That's a good sign and stuff. We're not going to um, showcase what had happened. With the negative side of things because that's not important it's important that a young man that almost lost his life 
in the football field and thank God and thank God is great. God is good. God is gracious that God spared this man to um, for another day. And it, it's just outpouring. His um, charity drive for his tour drive went from two hundred fifty thousand dollars to now up to seven million dollars. That tells you right there. That is, woo, yes. You know, hey, but Demar Hamlin, let's hope uh, everything okay. He can come out here on his road to recovery. So hey, it's good. All right. Let's hear what you people had to say about Demar Hamlin, and you know most of you had a lot of outpour of love and support. Let's hear what you had to say. Held a press conference just a few minutes ago with this update. We actually put Demar, uh, like we did Demar's dad and then the docs yesterday on the big screen in there, so he was um, larger than life in there for us. McDermott said this week has been one of the most challenging weeks for everyone, but today's help news is helping to lift everyone's spirits. He said the resilience everyone has shown has been incredible. Demar Hamlin wasn't the only player involved in the tragic event. Absolutely, and really not just the football community. Well, I guess you can, but we should extend that community to the fan base. And because that... They're really all the sports. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. <sighs> Go ahead. It's a lot. Yeah, it it's all right, Rick. <laughs> yeah, if we need to come out, do for you win. We needed that. Yeah. As fans, we needed it. I mean, this guy is a legend. A legend. You're talking about a fighter? Yeah. Dang right, he's a fighter. He's a dang legend. Thank you. I needed it as a dad, as a coach, and as a fan of this game. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry. No, you don't apologize, because I think a lot of people felt that way. <laughs>
conferences, neurologic recovery, the noggin looks good, breathing tube apparently removed, asked right away, did we win? So there's, uh, uh, we can breathe a sigh of relief for him of that it looks like we're going to have a good story, a heroic story of recovery. Why? In part, the why is athletic trainer Denny Kellington who he and the team, when they noticed something was amiss, that this wasn't just somebody falling to the ground, but things weren't right, activated the chain of survival promptly and effectively, calling, pushing, shocking, meaning 911, push, effective CPR, deep and fast, and until first responders and, and order was restored, seen a lot of wonderful things happen after the fact awareness increasing and getting the focus put on the right perspective of rapid response saves lives cpr saves lives which has been something that we at sads foundation have been saying for years and have been helping schools get equipped making sure that schools are safe working with the school nurses, uh, working with communities. Not is it not just a sad, safe school, but is it is it a sad, safe community? A lot of you people are showing our full love and support for Lamar Hammond on this. Uh, hopefully everything is going well and great for him and he's on his road to recovery. And, uh, we just hope so hope the latest. So, thank you for watching this edition of our I'll be your host, Kendrick Dick. Back on the new year, we talk about DeMar Hamlin and Flo Cove. We'll see you again next time for another edition. Hello, everyone. This is Kendrick Dick with a special update. A special, special update. We talked about DeMar Hamlin of Road to Recovery. DeMar Hamlin right here sent a message through this week Late last night, Damar Henry yesterday sent a tweet about his role to recovery that he thanks everyone for their support of what he had went through in these past couple of days, suffering the cardiac arrest. And you can see right here, the smile right here, letting you know he's okay, he's all right. Even his teammates, his coach, and everyone else is eager and ecstatic. Damar, get better. It's going to be a road, long road of recovery, but only thing that matters is your life. Your life is important and stuff, you know, regardless of who won the football game or not. You know, people will be mad regardless of what this per this man had to go through. And um, it's less than important about a football game. Um, the critics, the naysayers, you know, they can all go straight, you know what. But the only one thing is, his life, his life is important. Him smiling right here again, that tells you everything you need to know regardless of it because it could have been a life-threatening situation. And I'm glad he over he came out of that and he's on his road to recovery. You know, whenever he gets ready and gets healthy, I mean, this is the biggest story to, to this date. Um, what happened? And it's like the NFL getting reborn again in a way like when he comes back you can know he's going to be a top draw people want to know who what about when he first speak they want to know and stuff and root and rally behind this man and who knows he might be the next um great football hope that many people didn't expect seeing and stuff because of what he did but it's crazy enough for him to um, stay, you know, have roll the recovery, rest, get enough rest you can, 
you know, when the doctors say you're clear, then come back stronger, better, faster than ever before. And I know he is on um, that. And um, thank the good Lord for that. That's been the update on viral. We thank you for watching viral. We had the earlier uh, clip that we said of his role of recovery, but this is an update. So we want to thank you for watching viral and God pray and God bless the Mar Hamlin on his role to recovery. I've been your host, Kendra Dix, with your viral update.